So I noticed in the slides from Stanford that the equivalence principle was throwing up some queries for people. So I thought I would just represent it into 3D space. Um, as you can see here, the objects on the right fell due to gravity. And on the left hand side, you can see that they have fallen. Um, however, during the period that they're falling, there is no exerting forces on each of the object. You can see I've just paused it just now, but as you can see, it's fallen. There's no exerting forces on the object. So this, these cloud of theoretical particles um, are falling at the same rate. And as there's no air resistance, there's no deformational relationship between the particles. So they all stay the same. They all may have different masses, which can be adjusted and that will not make a difference. Um, but you can see here in relationship to each particle, there is no, there's, there's, they all look like they are standing in uh, free floating space, but as you can see, they are in actuality uh, falling.